Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome along to episode number 19 of our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode here at Team Chase Liner. Last episode, it's done with. We're going to put that to the back burner. We're not going to concentrate on it anymore. It's all about... Why is that card up in the corner? Don't remind them what happened. Anyway, there's the facilities, folks. We're not going to concentrate on the last race because the last race didn't happen. Uh, how are we doing in the R&D? Well, R&D so far, we're uh, coming up to... what well, has uh, coming up quicker than us, but uh, we may soon be better than the McLaren team, which uh, you, you know you love to see. Absolutely love to see uh, that uh, we could be better than McLaren anytime soon. Uh, everybody's looking a bit ishy. But that's fine. We can uh, use some older stuff and uh, get us through... Uh, Get us through Japan that way. That's not too bad. They will be coming up for a sponsorship renewal soon. Let's look at the championship, shall we? And uh, Lewis Hamilton leads the way. Followed by Valtteri Bottas, Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, Jackie there in P6. Then Alex Albon, Carlos Sainz, Danny Ricciardo and Lance Stroll, your top 10. In the constructors, Mercedes and Ferrari are racing away with it. Followed by Red Bull, then Chase Liner in P4. McLaren, Racing Point, Renault, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Dowry. Williams and Haas, with uh, the only ones still yet to score being Russell, George Russell, Roman Grosjean and Tatiana Golderon. So, we'll advance the time. Let's see, we oh, we didn't get the crankshaft. It's useful. They are getting some stuff for attention. We didn't get that either. Good Lord. R&D did as dirty this week, didn't they? Now, yes, I know I'm not in a rivalry. I prefer not to be in a rivalry until the end of the year, if you don't mind me saying so. I prefer Jackie to be concentrating on the bloody driving. Right, what are we uh, going to do? We've got 2,500 resource points to use. That's uh, incredible. So what we'll do, I definitely will definitely uh, do this fabrication one. We definitely want to do that, especially with the upgrades that we've got to do on the car still yet. What uh, we do, so we're going to upgrade... We're going to redevelop that, so that'll be in for Kota. Good. We're going to need it for Kota. And we'll have that ready for Kota as well. Yes. Should we get one more, or should we wait? I think we'll wait. I think we'll wait. I think we've got, I've got an idea of which direction I want us to go. So we'll wait there. So we're going to get practiced around Suzuka, we are going to get qualified, and we will see you on the start line for uh, what I hope won't be a rather wet Japanese Grand Prix. Technical regulations are changing for next season. Now there's a risk a lot of our hard work could be undone if we're not careful, so let's figure out how to mitigate this. Drivers, take a look at the developments we have, and let us know what you want to invest in protecting. Alright everyone, let's get on top of this. Well we knew that was coming. And uh, here is the R&D reset, and it's going to be on the powertrain and the chassis, so the aero gets away with it, uh, thankfully. But uh, that is uh, all good for us. So you can see here, between uh, practice and uh, qualifying sessions, we start to uh, basically adapt some of these parts. And these parts will then stay on the car, so that we're not uh, caught with our knickers around... Uh, everything could uh, when we show up at Australia next season so we started on the power tray we'll get to the chassis going as uh, as the weekends go on but uh, yeah we're not gonna be uh, we're not gonna be caught out uh, this time we're going into next season with a damn good car Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at a wet and windy Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here, with Sector 1 likely to prove especially difficult in these conditions. We should see overtaking into turns 1 and 16 today, and maybe a few Kobayashi-style dives into the hairpin as well. 
With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Can we talk about Mercedes? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Ricardo, Perez, Ocon, Kvyat, and Lando Norris, Sainz, Giovinazzi, Kimi Raikkonen, and Grosjean, Midas, Albon. They've taken a grid penalty. Lance Stroll and Pierre Gasly. Magnussen, Calderon, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top? Five races remaining, and you've still got a chance of winning the world drivers' title. Let's grab a solid points finish. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not thinking of that uh, championship this year, even if we do have an outside chance. <coughs> certainly after um, certainly after not what happened during qualifying. And certainly the first qualifying session as well. Uh, yeah, folks, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, Jackie absolutely binned it. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> you saw what happened. So uh, the rain has arrived here at Suzuka. It's going to be, well, a no-stop race. We hope it's going to be a no-stopper. Uh, and hopefully Jackie can get uh, another blistering start and uh, we'll be able to get some uh, some decent points today. Well, that's the hope, anyway. Almost immediately it's lights out. Away we go and Jackie does get a good start. Go on, girl. Well, I thought she'd uh, get a bit more of a better start than uh, that one uh, there, but she oh, almost into the back of Carlos Sainz and the three wide with uh, Carlos and uh, one of the Alphas. I do believe that's uh, Kimi, Kimi Raikkonen uh, back there. Uh, that would make uh, some sense. Uh, anyways, Carlos Sainz going sideways. Oh boy, that could have uh, ended badly there for Carlos. Could have ended real badly uh, for Carlos Sainz there as we go through the S's. And now, oh, the, oh there's German Nazi around! Oh, oh, oh dear me, German Nazi got on the power a bit too much there. I'm afraid uh, that's not uh, that's not good there. German Nazi, uh, well, I'm surprised no safety cars come out for that because that is a, is a deserved of a safety car. She thought about a peek at the inside of Lando Norris there. Or is that, is that Carlos? I can't tell these McLarens. The numbers are so far away and they're so uh, so generic as well. Heading up to the depth, the spoon curve here on uh, lap number one. And there goes the McLaren up the inside of Jackie, but Jackie holds steadfast and she holds uh, very firm as we move on to lap number four here. And you see the rain still coming down. It's still teeming here, folks. Oh, this is going to be an absolutely ridiculous race. It's going to be a boring race as she gets all out of shape through 130R. Oh, you don't be doing that in the rain. Oh, sorry, that's Lando Norris in front of us. I thought it was Carlos Sainz. No, Carlos Sainz. I was right. The Carlos is behind us. Lando is in front of us. Uh, she's in P11. So there's points on offer. But uh, she's got to be able to go out there and uh, find them. Now, this is going to be a satisfying pass if this uh, comes off. This is uh, Roman Grosjean and Alexander Albon here for P14. And go on, Alex. Oh, the Frenchman keeps hold of it for now, does he? Wanker. Yeah, you can tell we still haven't forgiven. Uh, we still haven't forgiven him for what happened. And uh, he never will be forgiven. Not after that. I hope the rumours are true and he is retiring. Because that, that was a perfect example there of why Roman Grosjean should be retiring. As uh, we head uh, on to lap number six now. Through the Degna corners. Through Degna one, Degna two. We are keeping up with this train here of Kvyat Norris and uh, I believe that that is Esteban Ocon in front of them. As uh, we look at Max Verstappen here and uh, I don't know if Max has got a problem there but uh, oh he has got a problem. Oh Max Verstappen is going to be out of this race is he? 
That's uh, nice to know. Oh! Oh, I think Ricardo's just broke his wing. Oh, dear. You hate to see it. Or do you? There goes Ocon. There goes Kvyat. And there goes um, Sainz and... Uh, sorry, Norris and Jackie. And here comes Ricardo. Which isn't going to be a pit stop for a re replacement front wing. I'll get that out eventually. Uh, dear me. Poor Daddy Rick, man. He didn't uh, deserve that. He was on for a good finish there. He was actually keeping the Ferrari uh, held at bay. So there he goes. He's got his new wing on. He's going to be at the back of the field. And he's going to be charging through uh, at his uh, pace here. But uh, the safety car did come out because of that. And here it comes. He's coming back in now. Sector 3 ends just before 1.30 R here. It's uh, Charles Leclerc leading us uh, away here. Charles Leclerc from, I believe that's Bottas, then Hamilton. you got got uh, Vettel. One of the tracing points of there, that's, uh, I believe that's Sergio Perez. Jackie's actually in P... I think she's P8 or P9, one of the two. But Leclerc has decided now is the time to go. On the restart as we start lap number nine, and uh, he's disappeared off into the distance. As, uh, as you would. So, uh, yeah, Jackie's has up in P9. You've got Norris and Kvyat in front of her. Then uh, Ocon. And uh, as uh, Carlos Sainz was having a look at the inside there, how rude. How rude to have a look up the inside of a lady. Is Jackie a lady? We'll never ever know. Oh, she's getting all out of shape and squirrelish there. How's Tatiana doing? I think Tatiana's down the field here. New contract and she's uh, struggling. What, uh, what a shot there. But we move uh, a little further ahead on lap for number nine here. And uh, Danny Ricardo, he's got past uh, Antonio Giovinazzi. He's now passing George Russell around the outside of 130R. And there's the move of the race right there for uh, for the man. As uh, we look, uh, well, we've moved ahead now onto lap number 12. Literally nothing is happening here, folks. As Jackie gets in all that shape going into the hairpin. And uh, that could have been uh, that could have been a disaster. Luckily for her, it wasn't a disaster, and she's uh, got away with it. Fair play, says uh, that racer. But you see that uh, the front four are disappeared. Perez, Ocon, then uh, you got Kvyat, Norris, and Jackie, all uh, practically nose to tail. It's like one big giant, uh, excuse me, DRS train uh, going down into 130R. And it needs to be a 130 yard DRS train as uh, we come through. And now hard on the brakes into lap uh, number 12. Where's, uh, where's that clip? I uh, imagine it'll be coming up in a minute. <coughs> so we're, we're starting the final lap here. You can see the conditions have got no better. Uh, but this is the kind of racing we were putting up with all bloody uh, race. It just, it just wasn't happening, folks. As uh, Danny Rick now looks at uh, a move on uh, Tatiana here. Come on, Tatiana. Everyone, everyone cheer for Tatiana. Come on. Yay! She holds off Danny Rick for uh, one more lap. But uh, we're going to go to the last lap uh, corner now. Here comes Charles Leclerc out of the last corner. And Charles Leclerc is going to win a rather boring Japanese Grand Prix, folks. And I do mean boring. Because quite literally, absolutely nothing happened. At least they got rid of the bump that was right there. That's, uh, that's something. But P9, she'll uh, take that all day, every day. Nice bounce back after um, after Russia. She might get uh, driver of the day as well. Yes, she does. Well, fair play, girl. What a bounce back race. Good recovery. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky, wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again.
Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. But while they were celebrating, this was uh, happening. Danny Rick was trying to pass Tatiana again. And, uh, well, Tatiana held him off once again. So uh, explain why you see this in the results. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. Our championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals have made up some solid ground today. Now let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Midas. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace. Something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, Alpha Tori's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. You know, I said explain why you see what uh, you see right here in the results. Well, you're about to see that in a minute, because um, Charles Leclerc he won the Japanese Grand Prix. There's no disputing that. There's absolutely no disputing Charles Leclerc won the Japanese Grand Prix. It it was just rather boring, as uh, you'd imagine. Then Bottas, Hamilton, Vettel, Perez. Uh, good finish, Ocon, then uh, Daddy Kvyat, Lando Norris, Jackie finishes P9, Carlos signs P10. Now explain what you're about to see here, because you saw Tatiana in front of Daniel, yeah? Well, how did Daniel end in front of Tatiana? What the shit? Tatiana was P18. Max Verstappen didn't finish. Oh well, let's go do the interviews. Ah, uh, there she is. I'll take your questions this week, uh, darling. Do you think this team are performing as well as they could do? Why do I care about McLaren? Ask me a question about our team. Ask me a question about Jackie. Ask me a question about Tatiana. It was more like dodgems than formula. Now, that was right. Giovinazzi uh, was out of order there, as was uh, Ricardo. Your time. And yours as well. Oh, I think we're about to go up to level 13 acclaim here, folks. We'll soon be getting a, a brand new sponsor. There we go, level 13 acclaim. You'd love to see it. Hey, there it is, right there. People have been saying I should get merch. If you if you want to start seeing uh, Rockstar Pool 69 merch, leave it in the comments. I just said that to gloss over the fact Jackie lost us 50 grand. We got our uh, running costs and all that in. So it's all looking rather good. We will renew Pianti for another uh, sponsorship agreement. Absolutely. I want uh, I want some of that. We got an invitational event coming up uh, as well in a, in a few days. That uh, will be rather interesting. But we got uh, a three and five slot. So let's have a look here. Ooh, Supplier HQ Tour. We could do that. Oh, hello. Funded team event home. Yeah, that, uh, race simulations as well. Well, I think what we will do... Right, we'll take the funded team event. Definitely. Now, what should we take here? I think we should take the race simulations to boost up... Uh, Tatiana. That's what I think, anyway. But then again, that supplier hate, yeah. Take the resource points of the team acclaim, and then we'll take the uh, driver uh, promotion as well to uh, to help us out there. I think uh, that's uh, that's the best way to go. Actually, no, we'll put the race simulation in there, not the funded team event. I I, I knew I wanted the race simulations. It just uh, it's just a case of which way uh, which way it was going to go. So guys, let's get uh, 25 likes on the video if we'd uh, be, all be so kind. I know we can uh, do it together. We uh, we always generally do, and we tend to do uh, as well. You can see we've uh, developed more of the uh, chassis to help us out. And you can get subscribed for more F1 2020 Mighty and Career Mode, NASCAR Heat 4, Bus Simulator, and whatever we play on Sundays as well. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a bit boring. I apologise, but it gets like that when the rain comes down. Thanks for watching. 
we will see you uh, next time. Until then, folks, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>